What is going on, guys? DBG here, and today we're going to be trying out Brandon Ingram. Because Brandon Ingram, like for 7 or 8k MT, is genuinely one of those... Uh, he's one of those players that I'm just like... He's j actually could be really good and really underrated in this game. So like 98 three ball, he's got a 98 driving dunk as well as pretty solid defensive stats. Really good speed, speed, ball acceleration, good lateral as well as a long wingspan. Problem is only 50 badges of the 64. And if you're looking at badges, he doesn't have, doesn't have anything that does, has anything to do with strength. Obviously, he's Brandon Ingram. Um, a lot of the inside badges he kind of struggles with. Or well, not the struggles, but he just doesn't have. But um. Let's take a look at what we're looking at right here when it comes to Brandon Ingram. So he's got five hot zones. The release isn't bad. Like, I've not liked Brandon Ingram's release at all this year. And with every hot zone, all five of them outside the three-point line, he's going to be able to hit. Problem is, his release off the dribble is horrendous. So his release is the closest thing to the old base 75s that we used to have in my team. Um... I don't mind the base, the upper, that's re the base with upper is a little bit off-putting. And normal leaner, I think. Yeah. He's going to hit that. He's just super skinny. Like, he's super skinny, which is a big, big negative on defense. Like, Ingram is a guy that should be a really good defensive player. Just because of his wingspan. And he has decent enough size. The problem is, it's just he's too skinny. He's got the skinniest possible arms in this game which isn't the greatest thing in the world. And he is also only six foot seven. I know he's only six foot seven in real life, but when he was with the Lakers for the entirety of his time on the Lakers, um, he was listed as taller than that. But dribbling seems okay. Going to be a decent shooter and should be a pretty solid card. So anyway, now let's go on green at three. And I really missed the one on green. Now we're going to get on to the game. So yeah, I'm a, I'm kind of happy with yesterday's cards in general. Like I actually think they are pretty good. Like I'm surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised at how good the cards from yesterday are. Okay, so let's go into clutch time online. We're putting me at the two. I'm actually gonna run him beside David Thompson. I really like David Thompson. I know it doesn't really matter. Um, with these right here, I know it doesn't matter at the end of the day. But I really, really like um, this card. Okay, let's go. We're playing again. So he's matching up to Tracy McGrady, which is a good matchup for him. Because there's no one else on the team he can really match up to. Just want to see what his defense is like. I hope my opponent is one of those T-Mac made guys. So we can really see what Brandon Ingram is all about. Play wide open four point shot to start the game and he blew it. It's fine. Is he gonna look to T Mac or is he going to just dribble? Because, like, he might just dribble the air out of the ball. For all I know, that's what he could be doing. Good steal, Ingram. Run. I'll just hit him. Nope. I'll take the two points. I was trying to flashy dunk there. I'm there. Why would you hold your nuts instead of just being 7 foot 2 Artis Gilmore? Like, you being 7 foot 2 is a very, very, uh, is such an advantage. If you're going to just hold your nuts, then I don't really know. That's also should have been a steal. He's going to go to T Mac more than likely. Good defense, good defense, good defense. I don't mind. If he beats me with Lamelo, he beats me with Lamelo. That is a weird shot and a weird possession. But Ingram has it. Clip him. Oh, I thought we were going to get a bit more space off that. I thought we actually had him clipped on the screen. It's fine. Good. He, well, not good. That was just a terrible defense possession. He just blew it. Okay, let's go. Lay it up. Good, Brandon Ingram. Come on. Ingram is surprisingly good. I'm not going to say he's Brit. Like, I'm not going to hype him up like he's one of the best cards in the game, but he's actually surprisingly good. 
Why is he not looking for T-Mac? Why did he shoot that? Instead of the wide open that he would have with T-Mac because no one was guarding T-Mac. I just lost the ball, really. All right, we're good. Seven to two lead. Just chill under the basket. He's not going to do anything. He's going to probably pull back or he's going to get squatted by Shaq. Great defense, lads. That's what we need. We're playing some pretty okay defense here. Attack, attack, attack. Cut. Hard. Oh. Unlucky. Probably did not deserve that basket because we did cheese him. Is he going to finally hit one with T-Mac? No, he's not. And that's a big board there from Ingram. Wrong button. And right before you're about to drop step or do something, we lose it. I had a wide open Shaq and I missed him because I thought he was playing center. Shaq played center for like the whole video yesterday as well. So that's the reason why. I'll give you that later. Good, Ingram. Come on. He's still got 10. It's 10 to 2 on Ingram being Ingram, I guess. Okay, we're good. Apparently, I'm not very smart. Like, I just let him do that to me. Like, that is not a smart play. And I'm suddenly realizing, I'm me realizing it now while everyone's like, we all know you're not smart, Mick. Steal. Oh, wide open. Come on. Not a chance. Okay, good shot. Hey, we're up by five with a minute and 30 to go. He overcommits, we're good. Nope. Just. The court's just too small. The court is just too small. Off. Way off. Give me that board. Ingram is cleaning up on boards here. I say that, and he's only got two. Spin him. Oh my god, can we stop losing the ball on that animation, 2K? Like, if there's con. If we're trying to. You can't actually do. Like, that was a normal move. He was gonna we, he was gonna overplay me one side and we try to spin. We try to spin um, on a drive. It's like one of the most common NBA moves, but for some reason, 2K, you used to be able to do it. You could do it back in the day. But for some reason, you made it so that players literally just drop the ball on spin, on spin moves. Like, the Derrick Rose, Jeremy Lin. Or that was Jerry, Derrick Rose, like, freaking. That's how, that's, how we got to the, that's how we got to the bucket during his MVP year. Drove in, quick spin move. And you can't even do that in 2K because you'll just lose the ball. Okay, let's go. Let's knock down another one of these. It's a big shot. We've now got a five point lead, 46 seconds to go. And I have given him up an open dunk. Given up an open dunk. All right. If I played a more smart game, I'd be good here. Why would you stop running? You actually ran until you actually ha would have had a step and you decided just to stop then. Good, Ingram. Come on. Good defense. Straight to Ingram. Off the board to himself. And, I, and Brandon Ingram, not Andrew Ingram. Brandon Ingram gets the dunk. Brick man. Good shot. Good shot. I gotta give credit. When I, if I call brick man on a crazy shot and you hit it, that's a, that's a good shot, I guess. All right, let's knock this one down. Just end this game here. Six points. Six points up, 14 seconds to go. Okay, come on. Ah, 
That's a bad air ball. That is a real bad air ball. But let's see if we can catch the ball here. He probably could have gotten a... Why are you fouling, man? Why are you fouling? That's a manual foul. You're, up si you're down six. It's a manual foul. Oh, my God. You petty, petty individual. All right. We're going to end the video right there. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Ingram is surprisingly good, lads. He's surprisingly good.